Hello kids and welcome to another episode of Virtual Sunday School. I'm so excited that you guys could make it and I hope we learn some really important Bible stories today together and you are up for a very cool lesson. It's actually one of Sarah Tucci's favorite Bible stories about a boy named Daniel. Maybe you guys have heard of them before. You even have a Daniel in your class. Well, the story of Daniel is actually really, really fun and exciting, and it all talks about God's plan for a boy named Daniel who was very brave and he was strong and eventually he turns into a man who loves God very much and obeys God and does everything that God wants him to do. But today we're going to start from the beginning of Daniel's life that we learn about in the Bible and it goes back to a time when Daniel was a boy and he had some friends. They lived in Jerusalem, that's where they were from. So they were Hebrew boys and they loved God and they prayed to God. They knew all about who God was. But in Babylon, there was an evil king and his king, this king's name was King Nebuchadnezzar. And you know what King Nebuchadnezzar did? He took all the boys, the Hebrew boys from Jerusalem, all of God's people, the strong boys that he could make soldiers and slaves for his kingdom. So all of these strong young boys were taken away from their families and their homes. It was really a scary time for them and, and they didn't know what was going on. All they did was they had to follow these scary soldiers because you see they had swords and it was um, kind of in some spears and they were probably gonna kill them if the boys didn't go with them. So what happened was Daniel and his friends went to Babylon as slaves. That must be really scary. So guess what? In Babylon, they had a different, it was like really far from their home. So they had a different language. They had different clothes and different food that they ate. Everything was different. It's like going to a whole new country. You know how your parents are from India and maybe some of you are born in India or your parents are born in India. It's kind of like if your parents took you from America and took you to India and everything there is so different, you may not even understand what everybody's saying. It might be really scary for you. But for Daniel and his friends, well, they knew God, so they had to make sure to try to adjust and, and do the best that they can. So guess what King Nebuchadnezzar and his servants did? They said, hey, you boys, you're going to change your names and wear our clothes and eat our food. So guess what Daniel and his friends? Daniel had to change his name to Belshazzar. And you probably heard about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego go and maybe we'll, we'll learn about them later but in this story they kind of had to change their identity so imagine if your parents or actually not your parents but like some scary people come one day to your house and they snatch you away from your parents they kidnap you and they take you to India and they make you change your clothes and they give you a new name and they're like here eat this food um, you'd probably be like, I don't even know what to do. I don't know what's going on. But guess what? These boys were men of God and they knew the right thing to do was see the food that was offered to them. It's like meat and lots of food from the king's palace. But guess what? These boys knew about the food and the food was offered to idols. Do you know what that means? That people offered this food to their other gods that were not the God that we serve. So Daniel and his friends, they said, no, no, we're not gonna eat that food. Just give us some vegetables and some water and we'll eat that. So maybe some fruits and some vegetables and we don't want any food that was offered for idols and the food that you guys are eating. And so you can see King Nebuchadnezzar's servant, he, he said to them, 
well, what am I supposed to do? The king wants you guys to eat this food. And if you eat just fruits and vegetables, you're probably gonna get tired and you're gonna get weak and you're not gonna look like all the other men that we brought from the, all the other Hebrew boys. You guys are gonna get sick and weak and the king is gonna be so mad at me. But Daniel and his friends, they knew that they were doing the right thing by not accepting the food that was offered to idols. So guess what happened? Daniel and his friends ate only fruits and vegetables and water and not the king's food for 10 days. And guess what happened? They were strong and they were smarter and they were a lot better than all the other boys that were brought from different countries and from all over the place. So what does that mean? That means that Daniel and his friend Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they obeyed God. They did the right thing, and they only prayed to God, and they only ate the food that God told them was the right thing to eat. And they are eating all these fruits and vegetables here, and they're only drinking water. And they came out in front of all the other boys, and they were the stronger ones. That must have been a really cool sight to see because they were obedient to God. So do you remember, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Can you tell me where Daniel and his friends were taken from their homeland in Jerusalem? Where were they taken to? A kingdom and the place was Babylon, right? And what was the king's name in Babylon? The bad king, the evil king who took all these boys from their home, what was his name? King Nebuchadnezzar, that's right. These are kind of hard names and they're really long. Maybe it might be hard to remember. But one more thing I want you to know is what was Daniel and his friends, um, their names were changed to different names. Do you remember what those names were? So Daniel's name was Belshazzar, and his friends were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I really hope we can talk about them later because they have really important stories in the Bible that I want you guys to learn about. And last but not least, the servant of the king was giving them meat and food that was offered to the idols before, but Daniel and his friends, they said, no, we want to eat some other kind of food. What kind of food do they want to eat? Do you guys remember? It was vegetables and water, fruit, vegetables, and water. That's what the Bible tells us. So what I want you to take away from this lesson is that even though you might be taken to a scary place and you may not be familiar with your surroundings and you may not know um, anybody around you, you might be in a strange place with strange people, God still wants us to be his servants. That means God still wants us to obey him and still do the right thing. Even, we, even though we don't know anybody around us, remember, we're still children of God and he's watching us and he's going to reward us for being obedient to him, okay? So I hope you guys learned something from this lesson and I hope everybody sends in their memory verses and their video memory verse. I can't wait to see you guys and I miss you and I hope to see you at church sometimes but if not I hope to see you in your videos and you guys are doing such a great job with your memory verses I hope everyone's staying safe I'm praying for you and I love you kids very much I'll see you next week